West Tigers. Now, our Fox Lab predictor has them finishing last, but that doesn't make sense because it didn't know that Api Korosau, Isaiah Papali'i, John Bateman, and there are no metrics around the magic of Tim Sheens and Benji Marshall. So, realistically, what are your expectations um, for the West Tigers? I, uh, I, I really like their recruits uh, and what they've brought to the club. Uh, obviously, the, the 05 bands back together. Sheens, Marshall, Farrah, they had a good energy about them. They had Chris Honington, who's a uh, he's a great connector, Chris Hornington. He's a great clubman, um, and he was back running the blue shirt for them at Belmore the other day. So they've brought some guys in there that know what success looks like at that club. Uh, and, and then they've recruited guys like Appy Coruscant, who I think is going to be enormous for them. Papa Lee is a world-class back rower, along with John Bateman, who I think brings a real unorthodox, unpredictable, ferocious, competitive edge to their back row now. My only question mark is, them is we, we, you know, I said earlier in the show what Coruscant was able to do for Daly Cherry Evans at Manly and the pressure that he took off him, what he instantly did for Nathan Cleary um, and Jerome Luai at Penrith. Can Brooks and Dewey capitalise on what Coruscant does at the ruck? If, if they can capitalise and, and step up and take their opportunities on the back of what he creates... Uh, then I think the Tigers certainly climb the ladder. I really do. But I think they will. With the, with the forward pack that they've got, Utoi Kamanu there, Coruscant, Clemmer, Bateman, Papali'i, like they're, they're forging a, a, a decent forward pack. Yeah, I don't think they play finals, but they get up the ladder. They'll finish you know, 10th, 11th or something, 12th around that mark. Don't say um, ninth. I won't say ninth. <laughs> the Tigers fan. Um, I like their performance the last preseason game. Yeah. Jeez, they were skill and athletic. They were passing the ball and that whole mindset that Sheens, Farrah and Benji have coached and played with was there to be seen. They were throwing the ball around, they were backing their skill. Their execution of pass was the best I've ever seen from the Tigers. But I think for them to actually reset the base, I think the example is the Cowboys. Mm. The Cowboys, they slept and breathed and did defence, defence, defence all summer. And that's the thing that shot them up the ladder. So David Ferner, um, he's in charge of the defence of the Tigers. And I hope they're spending as much time defensively as they have been on their skill pass and execution. Because you can juice all the memories of 2005 and that's going to add to the story and get the players to all buy in and, and there's no better coaching staff to, to, to hark back to that touchstone that was such a beautiful time for the club. Uh, but they've got to make their own history. They've got to make their own narrative this year. Are they capable? Who's leading the way? Do you think Appy is, is the one that takes charge and, and leads them to a new era? Well, clearly he's made an impression because he was named captain. Yep. You know, only after after a couple of months, uh, world-class dummy half. I, I think he'll make a real big difference there. I think he'll be able to, uh, you know, control the forward pack. He'll be able to manipulate and move the defence around like he does with his deception. Um, but is it enough to get them to the finals? I'm probably with Coop, so I, mm. I, I don't think so just yet. Well, the West Tigers are in action in round one up against the Titans. They've picked up Kieran Foran. Now, a few people were scratching their heads over this recruitment, but if judging on trials, this really works. Gold Coast looked really strong. Did you like what you saw of them so far? Yeah, I did. I think uh, the thing that the Titans needed to address from last year is that they scored points and, more importantly, leaked points in big bunches and the game just got taken away from them. And when you've got spine members that haven't been exposed to moments, it's decision-making. Do you find the, kick the ball in touch, repeat set? And sometimes their spine lacked those decisions and I think Kieran Foran will bring that. I think uh, even in that trial, I know he set up a couple of tries early on, but in between the tries, he had everyone in. He was speaking to them about what's next, what's important. So, yeah, I think it's a tremendous buy. I think it helped out Tino Fassimilao with the leadership and the captaincy and things like that. So, uh, yeah, there's no doubt that uh, I think Kieran Foran will be a very, very positive influence on the Titans. And Sam Verrills, we spoke to him. Yeah. He obviously traded in Bondi for Burley. Absolutely loving it. What a pick-up will he be for the Gold Coast? Oh, he, he came onto the scene as a real good young dummy half coming through. Uh, was a big part of that 2019 grand final winning side. Scored the try in the opening couple of minutes. He's had a horrific run of injuries. Like, and... and and some nasty ones. Uh, so it's great to see him up there taking an opportunity. Uh, uh, the fact that they've recruited in key positions, and Cooper's right, they need, uh, they need some class in key positions that can get rid of those erratic moments that they've had you know, over the last couple of years. And Foran brings that. He's an educator. He understands what success looks like, and he leads the way with his actions. I, I love what Foran does. He just needs to play 
the majority of the season for them to be able to improve and have success. But you can see he's had an instant impact with his education and leadership there. Uh, and if Ferrells can have a bit of luck with injury, then he's a very, very good dummy half. Uh, they've got some good forwards. He'll be able to use them well. Um, they're a dangerous footy side with their unpredictability with Brimson and um, guys like young Jaden Campbell coming off the interchange bench. He's a real X factor. Um, I'm, yeah, I... What about David Fafita? We saw him in the trials. He pounced on a loose ball off his bootlaces, went from 0 to 100 in about three seconds flat. Can he be that wrecking ball, that smart player? Is Kieran Foran the key to getting Dave involved for 80 minutes every single week? Well, he will. He'll help him through education pieces. When you go to a line, you want your back row in exactly the right spot. Uh, Tanner Boyd and David Feeder will sit on that right edge and they've got the schoolboy connection, so they've got that relationship. But don't underestimate the conversations that Kieran Foran has yeah. with that whole team in video meetings. It's putting really a science to uh, the, being very accurate and having David in exactly the right place every time. So if Foran needs to go to him, he can. Otherwise, he's got the ability to throw the ball over the top like he did uh, um, on the weekend.